Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a section C question which is a combination of circles and trigonometry chapter and it had appeared in CBSC board exam 2025. In the adjoining figure, TP and TQ are tangents drawn to a circle with center O. If angle OPQ is equal to 15 degrees and angle PTQ is equal to theta, then find the value of sin 2 theta. So let us try to understand the question first. We have been given a circle with center O and there are two tangents touching the circle at point P and point Q from an external point T. Now we have been given one of the angles within the circle that is angle OPQ as 15 degrees and one of the angles is PTQ which the tangents make with the external point T that is theta. We need to find out what is the value of sine 2 theta. So here we can see that this question becomes a combination of circles and trigonometry chapter. Now to begin with, let us consider the radius OP and the tangent TP. Now remember that the radius always makes a 90 degree angle with the tangent touching it. Now here OP is the radius and TP is a tangent touching this radius at point P. So angle OPT will be equal to 90 degrees. This is by radius tangent theorem. So here we have written angle OPT is equal to 90 degrees. Now we can see that this total angle OPT is made up of two angles that is OPQ plus angle QPT. So here we have written angle OPT as angle OPQ plus angle QPT. Now in the diagram we have been given the value of angle OPQ. So let us substitute it over here. So angle OPQ now becomes 15 degrees plus angle QPT is equal to 90 degrees. Now taking 15 on the other side of equal to sign, we get angle QPT is equal to 90 minus 15. So this gives us the value of angle QPT that is this angle as 75 degrees. Now once we have got this angle, let us focus on the tangents drawn from the external point T that is TP and TQ. Now according to the two tangent theorem, the lengths of the tangents drawn to a circle from the same external point will be equal. I have explained the radius tangent theorem and two tangent theorem in details in this video. So if you want to understand those theorems, you can check out this video. I will also drop down the link in the description box below. So here, using the two tangent theorem, the length of the tangent TP will be equal to the length of the tangent TQ. Now once we have got this, let us consider the triangle TPQ. So here we have written, consider the triangle TPQ. Now the triangle TPQ becomes an isosceles triangle because two sides of the triangle are equal. So their corresponding angles will be also equal. So angle PQT also becomes 75 degrees. So here we have written, now angle QPT will be equal to the angle PQT, that is 75 degrees. Now using the angle sum property of the triangle, angle PQT plus angle QPT plus angle PTQ will be equal to 180 degrees. Now in the next step we have substituted their respective values that is angle PQT is 75 and angle QPT is 75 plus angle PTQ is equal to 180 degrees. Now 75 plus 75 gives us 150. So taking 150 on the other side of the equal to sign we get angle PTQ that is this angle theta as 180 minus 150. So this gives us the value of theta as 30 degrees. Now once we have got the value of theta, in the question we are supposed to find out the value of sine 2 theta. So let us write here, sine 2 theta will be equal to sine 2 times theta is 30. Now 2 times 30 gives us 60. So sine 60 degree is a standard angle whose value is square root of 3 over 2. So this is the value of sine 2 theta for the given figure. So this is our answer. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful, then check out this playlist where you'll find more examples of this kind. And if you're liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.